In this video, we will explain how to prepare any three qubit state. Essentially, we're going to show explicitly local gates W1 up to W8, such that for any three qubit state, this circuit holds true. Let me remind you the definition of inner product. We have two complex vectors, then the inner product is given by this formula. Uh, this is an example, and we're going to define a unitary 2 by 2 matrix. Remember that every local gate acting on one qubit is given by a unitary 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, we're going to define u of x, y. x and y are a pair of complex numbers, different from 0, 0, and, and this, the u of x, y, is given by this formula x y negative y bar x bar and we normalize it as an example u of 1 minus 3i 2 plus i is equal to this unitary matrix then essentially u takes a pair of complex numbers into a unitary matrix it produces a unitary matrix for every pair of complex numbers um, we also need to define two functions. These functions take, each one of these functions takes a two by two matrix. It doesn't have to be unitary. A two by two matrix and produces a number, a complex number. Uh, the two by two matrix, we're going to assume that is given by X, Y, C, W. R is the first row and S is the second row. And the function F1 of A is it produces this number in the case that the inner product between r and s is different from zero then it has this expression here and in otherwise it has it is just this real number uh, as an example f1 of this matrix two by two matrix is this complex number uh, the function f2 it also takes a two by two matrix and produces a complex number. And in this one, F2 only uses the first row of A and is given by this expression. As an example, F2 of this two by two matrix is this complex number. Uh, with this F1 and F2, we're going to define four unitary matrices. These unitary matrices uh, they depend, these four functions depend on a matrix. It takes a two by two matrix. It doesn't have to be unitary and it produces a unitary matrix. Uh, the function R1 of A. A is this two by two matrix. It doesn't have to be unitary. And R1 of A is the unitary matrix that we get when we apply, when we use U applied on these two complex numbers. Notice that x, y, c, and w are given here in the expression of a. Then, as an example, r1 of this 2 by 2 matrix is this unitary matrix. We also define r2 of a is u of y, x minus f2 of a. Remember, f2 of a is a complex number. X minus F2 of A is a complex number. The conjugate is a complex number. And then when we apply U to these two complex numbers, uh, we get a unitary matrix, which is R2 of A. As an example, R2 of these two by two matrix, it gives us this unitary matrix. We have R1, R2, now the other two unitary matrices. R3 of A, is the unitary matrix U that we get when we use X bar and negative Y. And L1 of A is the unitary matrix that we get when we, when we use X bar and C bar. Remember that the U, the unitary matrix U is this, is given by this definition. The unitary matrix U takes two numbers, two complex numbers and produces a unitary matrix. Then now that we have these four unitary matrices, uh, we, we are going to define our local gates, W1, W2, W3, and so on. 
uh, instead of defining the w1 up to w8, we are going to define 10 matrices, uh, u1, u2, u3, up to u10. And the relation between the u's and the w's is very simple. It's just, it's given here. You see. u1 is w1, u2 is w2, and w3 is u4 times u3, and so on. Then we're going to be defining u1, u2, up to u10, instead of the w1 up to the w8. Uh, but with the u's, we can define the w's, uh, so that this circuit uh, holds true. Before starting the procedure, we're going to define two matrices for any three cubic state. We have a three cubic state, then we have eight complex numbers, and with these eight complex numbers, we're going to define two matrices. The matrix A of this three cubic state is the matrix T0, T1, T2, T3. It uses the first four complex numbers in this definition, and B of this three cubic state is T4, T5, T6, T7. Now let's start the procedure. Let's suppose that we want to prepare this three cubic state. Uh, we're going to do somehow the generic case, the case that requires the three C C C gates, and all the other details, all the other cases are easier, and they, they will be published soon in a paper by myself, Nelson Castaneda and Roger Vogler, and we're going to be posting this very soon in archive. Okay, then uh, what is the idea of the method? We start with a three cubic state, and then this three cubic state has two matrices, the matrix A and the matrix B, and with these two matrices, we're going to be using either the matrix A or the matrix B. We're going to define local gates. Remember that uh, our local gates are one, are two, are three, and are four. They depend on a two by two matrix. Sometimes this A is going to be the A of the given by the three qubit state, uh, or it's going to be the B. Remember that every three cubic state uh, defines two, two by two matrices. Every three cubic state defines two, two by two matrices. Then we're going to be using this, either one of them, to define a unitary matrix. Then uh, we start with the three cubic state, and somehow we're going to with the A and B, we're going to define a local gate, and with this local gate, we're going to change this three cubic state into another one, and that other one has an A and B, and then with the A and B, then with the A and the B, we're going to define a, a unitary matrix, and with that unitary matrix, and sometimes with the, a control C gate, we're going to define a new state, and that new state has a uh, two matrices with those two matrices with either one of those uh, we're going to define a, a unitary matrix and then uh, we change the state and somehow we're going to be changing the state a of the original one into this state one zero 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 uh, and the the matrix b of the original state into the state zero 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 notice that these two matrices are the two matrices of the state uh, 0, 0, 0. Okay, um, let me remind you, this is the circuit. And let me define the first unitary matrix. We have the initial state. This initial state has a matrix A and a matrix B. With the matrix A and the matrix B, I define the matrix A plus C times B. This is a two by two matrix that has C as a variable there. When we compute the determinant and we set it up equal to zero, we get a quadratic equation. This is a quadratic equation. We find a solution, C1. There may be two solutions, we just find one. And we consider the unitary matrix that that is given by the numbers one and C1. This unitary matrix is the first U1. Remember that. That U1 is the W1. Here is the relation between the U's 
and the Ws. Then we have our first U1. And as I said before, with the U1, with that unitary matrix, we change the state into another one, and that, that new state will produce two matrices. And we're going to be using the two matrices or one of those to produce a new local gate and, to ch and that local gate changes the state and the state, the new state has another two matrices and so on. Then um, this is our first unitary matrix. We change the state into this one using this local gate and then uh, we produce uh, this new state. This new state has two matrices, the matrix A and the matrix B. We're going to be using the matrix A of this new state. And with this matrix A, we compute L1 of A. L1 of A is a unitary two by two matrix. That's our matrix U2. And then we change the state and we produce this new three cubic state by applying this local gate. This new state, it has two matrices. And then we're going to use the A matrix and R3 of that A matrix, the transpose of that is going to be our matrix U3. With the matrix U3, we change the state to produce this new state. This new state has a matrix A and a matrix B. And now we use the matrix B of this new state and we compute the unitary matrix R1 of B, which is unitary, the transpose of that, which is also unitary, and that's our matrix U4. With U4, uh, we multiply this 3 cubic state by this local gate and by the control C01. 01. 01 means that the control C is acting on the qubit 0 and the qubit 1, and we produce this new 3 cubic state. Let me show you that part in the circuit. This is the control C01. And it's acting on the qubit 0, qubit 1. Notice that this is qubit 0, qubit 1, qubit 2. Then so far, we have this new state. As expected, this new state has two matrices, A and B and we're going to be using the A matrix. R3 of A transpose is our matrix U5. And then with U5, we have this local gate applied to this 3 cubic state, produces this new 3 cubic state. And this new 3 cubic state has an A and a B. We're going to be using the B. R2 of B is a unitary matrix. The transpose is a unitary too and U6 is the transpose of R2 of B. And then we define the new state to be uh, the previous one times this local gate times this control C02. Here we are at this stage in the circuit. This is the control C02. We can check that this new state it has the following form. It's given only by six complex numbers, V0, V1, U0, U1, U2, U3. And with these six numbers, we're going to define a unitary vector, G, and we're going to define a two cubic state. This is a two cubic state. In general, for any two cubic state, any two cubic state is given by four numbers four complex numbers. And with those four, co four complex numbers, we can define a two by two matrix, which we're going to be calling C of the two cubic state. And this is the two by two matrix. Then um, with this two cubic state, it has a matrix, a two by two matrix. Then we're going to define U7 to be R1 of that matrix, the transpose of that. And then we define a new two qubit state. This is a two qubit state. Remember that 
this is a two cubic state this is this two cubic state this cc we don't need to specify which cc is it because this is a two cubic state and there is only one cc acting on two qubits then we get this this is a two cubic state uh, with this two cubic state we have a two by two matrix and we define ua to be l1 of this uh, two by two matrix and with this u8 we define this local gate acting on this two cubic state we get this new two cubic state again the two cubic state it has a matrix c of that two cubic state and this is a two by two matrix then we can define a unitary matrix r1 of that two by two matrix and the transpose of that give us our u9 unitary matrix 9 and finally the unitary matrix u10 is r3 of e transpose where e is uh, this unitary vector times and then zero zero here remember that the g the unitary vector it was produced by the three cubic state c0 right? this is the first two entries normalize we normalize those first two entries g0 g1 and this is the e the two by two matrix e is g0 g1 0 0 and we can check that if we define the w1 up to the w8 equal to equal to this then this circuit holds true then we have prepared this state by using this circuit notice that by preparing we mean in the other direction but circuits are reversible then uh, th this circuit essentially is preparing this three cubic state let's do a particular example let's suppose that our initial state is the state that we get when we normalize this expression then uh, every three cubic state define two matrices and in this case these are the two matrices with these two matrices we're going to define our first unitary matrix u1 to do so we consider the two by two matrix a plus cb this is a matrix two by two matrix that has c in it and then when we compute the determinant this is a quadratic equation and we solve the quadratic equation this is one solution and then we define our first u1 which is u of 1 c1 and this is the expression for u1 we change the state using this local gate and then we get this new 3 cubic state that 3 cubic state it has two matrices a and b and we're going to be using the matrix A to compute U2. L1 of A is our two by two unitary matrix U2. Here it is explicitly. We change the state again using this local gate. And this new state has this form. And the new state has two matrices A and B. And now we're going to be using the matrix A but now we do R3 of A transpose and to get the unitary matrix, this is the unitary matrix explicitly, we change the state to get this new state. The new state has a matrix A and B and we compute the U4 by doing R1 of B transpose. Essentially, here is U4 explicitly and then we change the state again uh, we change it by applying uh, this local gate and the control C01. This is the new state. It has this form explicitly and it has a matrix A and B. And U5 is R3 of A transpose, which can be explicitly found like this. And then we change the state and this new state it has this form the new state has an a and b and then the new unitary matrix u6 is r2 of b transpose which can be computed explicitly and then we change the state by applying this local gate and the control c02 this is this state as expected this 
state is given by six complex numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And with these six complex numbers, we defined a unitary vector G, which is this, and a two cubic state, and this two cubic state. This two cubic state, it has a two by two matrix, which are essentially the four complex numbers here we have. And with this two by two matrix, we define a unitary matrix U7, which is R1 of that two by two matrix, the transpose. We have it here explicitly. And then we change this two cubic state. This is a two cubic state. We multiply by this local gate and the control C between those two cubic states, and the, we get the new two cubic state. This two cubic state has explicitly this form, and it has associated with it a two by two matrix. And with that two by two matrix, we defined another local gate, unitary two by two matrix. L1 of that two by two matrix is the unitary matrix which is explicitly given by this expression. And with that local gate, we change the state. We get another two cubic state. This two cubic state, it has associated with it a matrix. And U9 is R3 of that matrix, the transpose of that, which is given explicitly by this. And finally, the last U matrix, the U10, is the matrix that we get when we when we use this matrix E. Notice that this is the unitary vector G and 0, 0. Uh, here is explicitly the G and the 0, 0. U10 is R3 of E transpose, which is given explicitly by this. Um, then with the U1 up to U10, we can define the W1 up to W8 explicitly, and we can check that this circuit holds true. We finish this video by showing how to do the operations that we did in the particular example using Wolfram Mathematica. This is the identity two by two matrix. This is the control C gate acting on two qubits. It is a four by four matrix. And this is the control C acting on three qubits, acting on the qubit two and three. Here we are labeling qubits one, two, and three instead of zero, one, two, but it is essentially the same. This is the control C acting on qubit zero and one, and this is the control C gate acting on qubit zero and two. Notice that each one of these control C gates are eight by eight matrices, right? This is the control C zero one. Uh, for any two cubic state is given by four numbers, x1, x2, x3, x4. And for any two cubic state, we define a matrix, which we call C of that two cubic state, which is this matrix. I'm calling it here MA. Uh, for any three cubic state, which is given by eight uh, complex numbers, we, this is the matrix A. And you see the matrix A and the matrix B. And this is the matrix B. And this is the unitary matrix uh, U that depends on two complex numbers. This is the unitary matrix U. Uh, for any two by two matrix X, Y, C, and W, we defined the functions F1 and the function F2 and using F1 and F2 and U, we define four unitary matrices, R1, R2, L1, and R3. They depend on the two by two matrix, and it uses, they use the matrix U. Right? And these are the four unitary matrices, R1, R2, R3, and L1. Uh, let's consider this uh, three cubic state. Right? This is the three cubic state that we are considering. Uh, we are going to be using our floating point arithmetic uh, so that uh, 
uh, we don't deal with all the radicals, but we could get an exact answer for all the unitary matrices as well. Uh, for this uh, three cubic state, uh, this is the matrix A and the matrix B. And here we have the matrix A and the matrix B associated with this three cubic state. Uh, to define the first unitary matrix U1, we consider the matrix A plus C times B, and we do the determinant of that, right? This is a quadratic equation in Z. We solve the quadratic equation and we use the first one of the roots to find U1. U1 is U of 1C. Right? This is explicitly U1. Using U1, and this is the tensor product of U1, the identity and the identity. We change the state, right? Now it's not P, it's P1. And then um, that new state, it has a matrix A and a matrix B. Here they are, the matrix A and the matrix B. And this is the new state. And with the matrix A, we compute the second unitary matrix is L1 of A. And this second unitary matrix U2, this is explicitly uh, that matrix. With that matrix, we change the state, the P1, we change it to P2 using this local gate. Uh, this new state can be computed explicitly and it has a matrix A and a matrix B. And using the matrix A, we compute our third unitary matrix U3. It's the transpose of R3 of A. This is U3 explicitly. We use U3 to change the state, right, using this local gate. Now we have a state P3. And then the P3, this is explicitly the P3, it has a matrix A and a matrix B. If everything is going well, the matrix A of P3 should be to have this form, number 0, 0, 0. Um, then um, with the matrix B, with this matrix B, we compute our matrix, uh, unitary matrix U4 is the transpose of R1 of B. Uh, this is the U4. We use it to change the state and now we use our first control C gate, right? Control C, 0, 1, this local gate times P3, we get P4. This is the form of the P4. And this is the matrix A and B of this new 3 cubic state. Using the A, we get our unitary matrix U5 is R3 of A, the transpose of that. And this is U5 explicitly. We use U5 to change the state and we get the state P5. And this is explicitly P5 and it has a matrix A and B. And we use the matrix B, this matrix B, to get our unitary matrix U6. U6 is the transpose of R2 of B. Uh, this is explicitly U6. And now we change the state. Here we use our second control C, control C02 times this local gate. And then this new state, as expected, it has six complex numbers. Uh, one, two, and there are two zeros there. Uh, three, four, five, six, right? The matrix A looks like this, and the matrix B looks like this. Uh, with these six numbers, we normalize this vector to get the vector, the unitary vector G. I'm calling it A sub zero here, but before we call, I call it G. And uh, we defined a two cubic state. This is the two cubic state. Right? This is the two cubic state. So here is the G. And here is the two cubic state. Uh, the matrix of this two cubic state is this matrix. We use this matrix, the transpose of R1 
of this matrix produces our matrix unitary matrix U7. Using U7, we change uh, our two cubic state. We change this two cubic state using this local gate and the control C acting on two qubits. And then we get a new state. And this new state, it has a matrix. And L1 of that matrix is our matrix U8. And this, with this U8, we change the state again. Right? This is a local gate acting on this two qubit. It gives us this two qubit state. And this two qubit state, it has a two by two matrix associated with it. And the transpose of R3 of that two by two matrix give us the matrix U9 and and the U10 is just R3 of this matrix. Remember, let's see, this matrix is, is given, is explicitly this matrix here is the uh, unitary vector G and zero, zero. Then U10 is the transpose of R3 of this matrix of this matrix, which I call E previously. Then here are the unitary matrices U7, U8, U9, and U10. And uh, we can check that if I use, if I define the Ws in terms of the Us, then if I start with my initial P, right, this is the P, when I apply this local gate, this control C gate, this local gate, these two control C gates, and this local gate, I get the state uh, zero, zero, zero. Right? Then uh, this finish uh, the verification of the computations that we did before.